What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Lord knows Disraeli's played his cards very prettily. He's nearly getting <laughs> Thank you. 
These streets aren't safe tonight. I've heard tales a thousand times. Just last month. This is a dreadful misunderstanding. We damn well conducted our business in private. Can't be having this. Oi, give us some breathing room. Bloody bad. Stick me on the street. I just need to get inside. No need for this to get me. If I were ten years younger, I'd teach them to the world. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes. It's, um, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant. But discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament. I'll be very discreet. all fell into the Thames.
flashlight. Ready to shoot. Oh, coming through. <laughs> Someone's here! Sonic, just my love! I'll push my fist at the back of your head! Oh, oh, shit! Bring him down! Sonic, just my love! Throw the head! Oh, shit! I'll do anything! Balaclava should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the 11th Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? 
It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Ah, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otzoberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A letter. For me?